Welcome to Slain Excel Dragons video number 14. These are the videos that accompany this book. We are currently in chapter 5. Here's the short topic for this video. We want to talk about percentage increase or decrease formulas. We're not only going to see the math behind it, but look at some efficient formulas in Excel. And this is just one little written bit on page 159. Now here's our workbook. Excel start file, and of course you can download this on the link below the video. We're on the sheet CR4. Now, uh, this is just a little bit of a little blurb about math before we go on and do all these cell reference sheets. And a number of these cell reference examples, I'm going to use the concept of percentage increase or decrease. Now, this is page 159 in the book. Let's just read this real quick, right? Um, now, why are we doing increase and decrease problems? Because it's so common in all sorts of different realms, not just business, basically all realms, and people do these formulas in Excel. So, for example, we may want to start with a thousand bucks and say something like, hey, please increase a thousand by 10%. Now, a lot of formulas you see in Excel will be just like this. Now, if you if taken economics and finance, you wouldn't see it like this. Now, we're going to take um, this idea and convert it into what we see in economics and finance because it's a much shorter formula. Now, what do we do here? 1,000, oh, plus, and then 1,000 times 10%. Now, of course, in Excel, that gets converted to a decimal first, then we do our multiply, and that's 100 bucks, plus the original amount. So original amount, the principal, plus some Per, uh, amount change, and that gives us our end result. But watch this, you could equally be, you could, uh, it would be equally correct to write it this way, a thousand times one plus ten percent. Of course, we know that it's really 0 0.10, because Excel, d this is not a number, but no problem. Well, this right here can be reduced to this, right, a thousand times 1.1, .1, and that equals our thousand and one hundred dollars. This is how you see it in economics and finance and other realms also, accounting sometimes. Oftentimes when this is thrown at people that are not that math literate, um, you know, they're like, what does that mean? Let's take a look. Now this is an increase. What would this mean? A thousand times 0.9? That would be a 10% decrease. We'd say decrease 1,000 by 10%, and you could quickly write it like this. Now, here's the reason why. If you go back to this one, 1,000 plus, and then restate the original principle or the starting amount times whatever it is. By the way, if this was a decrease, it would be minus 0.1. With this, this then gets reduced to this, and of course, we would see it like this. Now, why is that true? It's um, due to something called factoring. Now, I want you to look here. There's a thousand times a number plus a thousand times one. Now, in algebra class, those of us that didn't pay attention, we didn't realize that factoring would be really important. Factoring means, well, we have some number a thousand times one plus same number times a different number. Well, you can factor out the a thousand and leave it out in front with a multiplying and leave the two numbers that it was multiplied on the inside. And that's the reason you can go from this straight to this. All right, let's go see this in Excel. I just typed this out. I'm on the sheet right here. Um, I type these labels here. We have a start amount, and we need to get to the end amount and percentage change. And the beauty of this formula is it doesn't matter if it is positive or negative, the formula will work. All right, it's simple. We say we say equals and then the original amount times and then in parentheses 1 plus r percentage change. Now these are relative cell references, so as we copy it down, it'll move perfectly. And that's how you would do this in Excel. When I copy it down, boom, absolutely perfect. Uh, later in this class, we will see maybe not percentage change, but we will just be given this number right here. And I'm going to do it right down here. I'm going to copy uh, this and paste it right here. And I'm going to call this rate. Now, not everyone calls this rate. 
but sometimes you see one plus the percentage change, whether minus or positive, it's called a rate. And so your thousand will be this, and you will be given 1.1. And you just assume that you know that one represents the original principle and the point whatever represents the percentage change. Similarly, we could do it this way. Now, you got to realize that now 0.9, this doesn't have original principle and then decimal and some change. Anytime you see something less than 1, the difference between 1 and this is the downward change, right? So these are the types of numbers you will see. Sometimes you'll see it like this, and then you got to do that. But in this case, we're just given. So what do we do? Multiply this times this. That's the principle. That's the change. Ooh, no, no original principle. Bummer. It's less than 1. So the amount, the end amount, is going down. Control Enter and copy it down. Now I'm going to highlight those two and then hold Control and highlight these two. And I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for currency. Control Shift 4. Maybe I should have done this too. Control Shift 4. All right. Uh, useful formula to know whether you get it like this or like this. All right, uh, next bunch of videos will be about one of the most important topics in Excel formula creation, or actually in all of Excel, cell references. See you next video.